back when I got into the health and fitness industry, BMI was being used and was a popular measuring tool that fitness professionals and other health practitioners were still using. I remember I was dumbfounded and really upset when I found out that I was classified as overweight when I had my calculation determined for me. From that day moving forward, I always questioned it and I never really used it as the be all end all tool. It was always put on the back burner. This calculation does not take into account, as I stated before, bone density, lean mass, and actual fat within the body itself. So you look at various professional athletes, shorter people versus taller people. It's just a very misleading and accurate formula based calculation that wreaks havoc on people's perception of their overall health. So I know there's many professional athletes out there that would be classified as overweight or obese based on their weight and height. It's a ridiculous tool. Couple great tools that one can use out there is calipers or better known as the pinch test. And also another tool that can be used that is extremely beneficial is a measuring tape. A measuring tape we use to find the circumference of the waistline. So measuring our waistline, our waist should be half of that than our height in inches. In regards to the circumference number, anything 40 inches and above for men is considered their overweight obese waistline circumference of females 35 and over is considered overweight or obese. So this calculation is extremely misleading and very inaccurate as it doesn't take into account genetics, body composition, lean mass, fat mass, fluid, and so forth. And why we measure our waistline, it's a great key indicator of excess fat in the torso or midsection area. Dangerous fat that we tend to carry in our torso area is called visceral fat. That is associated with poor health outcomes and it's also linked to or increase our risk of heart disease, cardiovascular disease, cancer, and is extremely dangerous. Carrying excess weight around our midsection torso increases our risk of type 2 diabetes, joint pain, and also lower back pain. Keep in mind that this calculation was based on the general population. There's many professional athletes that are classified as overweight and obese based on this formula or calculation. Extremely misleading, inaccurate, and again, the variables that this calculation does not take into account. BMI, body mass index, is a waste. In opinion, there is many other tools and biometrics that we can use to provide you individual accuracy. This BMI calculation has branded and labeled many people as overweight, unhealthy, unfit, and or obese. Back when I became a fitness professional in the early 2000s, BMI was still heavily used and I remember I created havoc on myself mentally because of my BMI number. I was classified as overweight. I was playing competitive soccer. I was involved in many sports. I was eating healthy was on a great training program and this became extremely detrimental to my overall health and fitness level because I started overtraining. I thought I was unhealthy because that's what the number gave me and grew into the health and fitness industry. I became more knowledgeable. I did more certifications. I leveled up. Education is key. Knowledge is power. I learned that this tool was not the be all end all and there is so many better biometrics and tools that we can use to give us better accuracy. In closing, a measurement tool that doesn't differentiate numerous variables that come into play within your health and wellness, such as bone mass, lean mass, fat mass, genetics, and so forth, is extremely misleading, inaccurate, and doesn't give us the full grand scheme of things. It doesn't tell the story of a healthy versus an unhealthy individual.